In this video, I am going to go over an excellent gunner build called the Toxic Defender. This build is designed for missions with defensive objectives like escort missions or salvage ops. However, this build also works well on large open maps, commonly found on point extraction or on-site refinery. For the primary weapon, you will want the Thunderhead with the Neurotoxin Payload Overclock. For the weapon mods, you will want extra damage, improved accuracy, improved splash damage, armor breaker, and suppressive fire. To start, I'm going to touch upon the benefits and limitations of this overclock. Neurotoxin has a 50% chance of being applied, and when it is applied to regular grunts, it will always end them. For slashers, it will take out roughly 80% of their health before the effects wear off. For guards and regular Mactera, it will take out roughly 50% of their health. For high health enemies like Praetorians, the damage dealt isn't significant, but you should still apply the Neurotoxin when you can. The reason why brings me to the second benefit of Neurotoxin, the slowdown effect. As you can see from this example, the slowdown effects are quite significant. This provides a great advantage since it will grant you and your teammates more time to take out the bugs before they get to you. Now, let's move on to the build. In Tier 1, you'll want to take extra damage, mainly because the other two options are unnecessary for this build. Extra magazine capacity is unnecessary, because you'll be getting most of your damage from the Neurotoxin, and not from continually firing. Extra ammo is also unnecessary, even if you're playing on a full team, since if you're utilizing Neurotoxin properly, you won't need to use a lot of ammo to take down large hordes. In Tier 2, both improved accuracy and lighter barrel assembly are good options. The reason why I chose Accuracy is to make it easier to take down Mactera. In Tier 3, both Loaded Rounds and High Velocity Rounds are good choices. Since this build is focused on groups of Grunts, Loaded Rounds are better. However, if you want to make this build a bit better against High Health enemies, High Velocity Rounds is an acceptable choice as well. In Tier 4, again, both mods are good options. The reason why you want Armor Breaker is to assist your teammates with taking down High Health enemies, like Praetorians, Armored Mactera, and Grunt Guards. In Tier 5, we have the most important weapon mod that really elevates this build, Suppressive Fire. The fear effect temporarily prevents enemies from attacking yourself, your teammates, and the object of defense. Also, the fear effect will make it much easier for the damaging effects of the Neurotoxin to be fully realized, which will help you and your allies save a lot of ammo. Now, let's move on to our secondary build that is designed to quickly take out high health enemies like Praetorians and Goo Bombers. The Burt with the Lead Spray Overclock. For the mods, you will want double extra damage, double improved rate of fire, and weak point damage. A couple of notes about this build is, since the Lead Spray Overclock has such a high spread, you need to be rather close to consistently bear all of your shots. Also, since your ammo supply is somewhat limited with this weapon, you'll want to save it for high health enemies or emergencies. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about these builds, please leave them in the comments and I will answer them as best I can. 